All right, so we've opened our studio. We know what, what information those windows are giving us. We have created an R script. We know how to run a line of code in our R script. And now we want to save this because maybe we want to do this again in the future and we don't want to have to type all of this in. So what do we do? Well, we just go up to file, save as. I'm going to save this on my desktop. Um, I'm going to call it test file. And I'm going to save it. And now I can close that. Ooh, that doesn't look good, does it? So I'm going to close that file, and now I'm going to come back to my computer at some later date, and I'm going to want to open it. There's my file. Opens back up, and there we go. Um, I have access to my computer code exactly where I left it with all of my notes, um, and I can run things again, and I'm good to go. The next thing that's really important is how to tell R where to find the data files. So for each one of our R tutorials, there's a data file we're working for and that data needs to be loaded into R. And to do that, R needs to be able to know how to find the data files. So I just saved this R script, the testfile.r, on my desktop, which is not where my data files are. And that's gonna cause me problems. R doesn't have any idea where your data is. So if I tell R I want to load in the data that I have downloaded for class, if you're in my biodiversity class, that's rodentcontrols.csv. If you're in uh, the ecological forecasting class, that's the NEON daily data that you downloaded. Wherever I saved it, R has no idea. Um, so if I just give it the name of the file, what will happen is run this. You'll get this big warning down here in the console, which says <laughs> that I think it does not exist. And that's because with R, you have to be able to tell it what the working directory is. It has its own assumptions about what the working directory is, which may or may not be what you want. Since R has no idea where this, this data file is, I need to be able to tell it somehow. Two ways that we can approach doing that. Earlier, I saved test file to my desktop, which you can see here. But what I really want to do is save it in the folder where I have the, the data files. So in this case, it's in demos. And in demos, I have the data for biodiversity, or if you're in forecasting, the data for, bio, for forecasting um, in here. And if I save the test file here, yes, I want to replace that one. So now I've saved the file in the folder where my data is. There's still one more step to do. It's now tell R that where this file is, that's where I want it to be paying attention. So I do that by saying setting my working directory to the source file location, source file being my R script. And you can see down here in the console where it now says set WD, which stands for set working directory. So now it's, it's laser-like focus on the folder that you want it paying attention to. And now when I run this line, it reads in my data, which is cool.